Well, hey there. Okay. Okay. To be serious, I don't know how to speak, so bear with me. My name is MZ, and today we're going to be showing you how to use light groups or set it up or just apply it to your project. So, first off, we just make a new project. You can name it any kind of project. You now that you create your project, you can see in the right side here the project properties there's a new there's a new tab called light groups wow it's over here so basically here we can make a new group and just we have we also have to rename it so so on later on later on we we know which which group we should be grouping with on the light source we have so we can call it number one we can call this one um, but two. Oh my god, okay, I didn't. So open the workbench and then we have Steve. Anyway, so light groups. Get light source. Any light source. I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put the the the, the environment today tonight. Because why not? Okay. Put it anywhere you want. Oh yeah, position your light source. Actually I should add subsurface scattering for some cool effects like the edge lights. So now we're, we have we have the light source and a little guy named Steve. We could call him an object. So now that you also have an import import in the light source to group if, to group the the light. So now that you have imported the light source, you can just go here and go to the appearance tab and. You can see here the light group, and you can find the groups you have you have created over here. So, so earlier we made Umbo one and Umbo two. So, oh no, where did it go? Of course, because it's in Umbo one. It's in the group of Umbo one. So, how do we apply it to Steve as well? We go to Steve, and then there we go. Umbo one we will only be affecting Steve now. So hold on, let me see. Let me... There. So yes, so as you can see, it should. Why is the ground not being affected by the light? Because it's grouped with Steve. Because these two are now grouped. You have to go to the appearance tab and find the light group area, and then just pick, pick one, pick one of the groups you have created. And now. We add another spotlight, or we can just duplicate. Just press Control V and duplicate it. And now, if you remove this light from the group, you can see that it's also it's now affecting everything because it doesn't have a group. I'll I'll make this one without a group, and then I'll duplicate this, and then add another guy. We put Alex here and set the subsurface to one because it's fancy. Oh wait, where is it? Why is it not casting again? Uh, it's not grouped. So, Alex will be on Umba tool. Now you can see, it's now casting light to Umba tool, the group, into Alex. Alex is, is with the group Umba tool. You can now see the difference. Well, um, I was supposed to be reading something else which a tutorial by Crusation, so I'll later read it, read everything. I'll let, I'll let my editor self, my future self, do it. So, Crusation made it a manual. So, because since he's, since I told him that I'm, I'm going to be making a tutorial, so I'll read it out for him. The Mindamere Community Build Light Group Manual, made by Crusation. So yeah, that's all. So yeah, you finally learned how to use light groups. So now what? Yeah, you did it. Hooray! Yippee! Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Just kidding. So now that you have learned how to use light groups, I'm gonna do a, a little quick speed render. Is it? Cause it's. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it into a like eight times the speed of the the actual. It's the actual video, so, uh, yeah.
Let's go.